Hello learners, I will teach you how to find the end point of an arithmetic sequence. But before doing so, this time I will teach you how to find the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Before that, let's first define what an arithmetic sequence is. When we say arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence wherein the next terms can be obtained by adding. It is just add the constant called the common difference. Common difference. Again, let us just add the constant, which is called the common difference, in order to obtain the next terms. I will give you an example. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, K. Okay. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. We can say that it is an example of an arithmetic sequence if there is a common difference. So this the difference between four and one is three. The difference between seven and four is three. The same as this three. Three. So three is now the common difference. In this example, there are five terms. Sir, what is term? Term is, is what? Is term, term. Those are terms. So when we say how many terms, we have five terms. One, two, three, four, five. First term, second term, third term, fourth, and fifth. If I will say, what is the next term? So just add, as what I have said a while ago, Simply add to get the next term. So plus 3, we have 16. Plus 3, 19. Plus 3, we have 20. 22. Yes. What if I will ask you to find the 99 terms of this sequence? What will you do? I will introduce to you the formula. The formula on how to find the 99 term or say the n term. When you say n term, you can have 20 term, 30 term, 31, 32. It will depend on the number of terms. So we have the formula A sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times the quantity n minus 1. When we talk of a sub n, so it is the number of terms. Say for instance, in 99 term, so this is a sub 99. Then a sub 1, this is the first term, 1, plus d, d is the common difference. Then n, n is the, num the number of terms, uh, still 99, and then minus 1. So this is now the formula. Example, find the 21st term of the arithmetic sequence 6, 9, 12, 15, and that is Three dots, that is ellipsis. It tells you that there is something more in here. Okay, let's find the 21st term. So, using the formula, we will simply use the formula. The formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times 
times quantity n minus 1. So in this case, what is our n? Okay. Our n is, we have 21. Our a sub 1, our first term is 6. This is our a sub 1. And then the difference, what is the common difference? 9 minus 6, that is 3. 12 minus 9, still 3. And 15 minus 12, that is 3. So our D here is 3. Now, let us apply the formula. Let us substitute the given values. So A, our N is 21. So A sub 21 equals A sub 1 is 6 plus our D. Our D is 3 in here. times n which is our n is 21 minus 1 can you add 6 and 3 remember Pindas P stands for parenthesis this E is exponent M, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. In here, we have addition. We have multiplication and then we have subtraction, but in parentheses. So therefore, we need to solve first 21 minus 1. This is P, parentheses. This is first solve parentheses, then exponent. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we will not add 6 and 3. It will bring you to the wrong answer. So we have 6 plus 3, that is 21 minus 1, that is 20. Okay, now, this time, can you add 6 and 3? No. You can? You cannot add 6 and 3 because we still have multiplication. Multiplication first before addition. So we have 6 plus 3 times 20, that is 60. So this time, we can add 6 and 60, that is 66. So therefore, our A sub 21 is equal to 66. So 66, that is our 21st term. Question. Am I clear? In our first example, we did find the n term. What if you are asked to find n given the n term? So we have example number two. In the arithmetic sequence 7, 10, 13, 16, Find n if a sub n is equal to 304. Meaning to say, this is your n term. Let us find what is n. n is the number of terms. Okay? So let us still use the formula. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times the quantity n minus 1. Let us identify first. What is uh, this is our a sub n? A sub 1 is 7. So it does. A sub 1 is right in here, 7. Our d is 10 minus 7, we have 3. 13 minus 10, 3. 16 minus 13 is 3. So therefore, our common difference is 3. So let us substitute this given values to the formula a sub n 304 this one then a sub 1 is 7 plus d which is 3 then copy n minus 1 so we are going to find what is the value of 
10. So just copy 304. So again, we cannot directly add 7 and 3. So just write 7 plus. Okay. We will distribute 3. We will mo multiply 3 and n minus 1. So let's have 3 times n. That is 3n. 3 times negative 1, we have negative 3. So, copy 304 plus 8. Let's add 7 and negative 3. So, 7 plus negative 3, that is 4. Then, plus 3n. So our goal now is to find n. So this time, we will transpose 4 to the other side. This is an informal term, transpose. In order for that, in this side, we can have only 3n. So this is 304 minus 4 from positive to negative. This is equal to 3n. So 304 minus 4, we have 300. This is equal to 3n. Okay, let's continue here. 300 equals 3n. How to find n? Okay. So let us divide both sides by? By 3. Is 3? 3. Then, let's have cancel this one. The proper way of writing equal sign is in the middle, in between the bar. So therefore, we have N 300 divided 3, that is, yes, 100. So therefore, our N is, our N is 100. Do you have a question? If you have a question, just comment below and I will answer it in my next video. Thank you for watching and God bless us all.